Logan Paul just set a world record. Also while probably making the dumbest $6 million purchase in human history. But the story behind it actually made it all worth it. Logan Paul makes stupid decisions. We know this. But this took things to a whole new level. This all started when Logan made his WWE appearance. And he had something really shiny around his neck. A Pokemon card. But this card was different. And even if you don't like Pokemon, you're going to want to buckle your seatbelts for this. In 1998, there were 39 of these special Illustrator Pikachu cards created. Fast forward to today. There's one four, two fives, one six, two seven, five eights, eight nines, and only one perfect PSA 10. I wanted one. But there's a problem. Nobody knows where this 10 is. Or who has ownership of it. But you can bet that if Logan Paul wants something, he's not afraid to spend stupid amounts of money to get it. Oh, so how much are they selling for? A 9 is currently listed on eBay for $4 million, and a 7 just sold for nine hundred k. Well, what about the 10? No one knows. It is the only one in perfect condition, and at this point, it's just a rumor. There are no pictures or videos of this card online anywhere, and no one I know has ever even seen it. Until one day in February 2021. Logan was contacted through someone on Instagram. Claiming that he owned the car. The one and only one in the world. So Logan called him up to get an offer. I don't know. Write it to it. Write it to it. Two million. They want four million dollars. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me call my people. I really want it. But again, knowing Logan Paul, he threw out the four million dollar offer. One big problem though. He got a call the very next morning from the middleman. I said I have some bad news for you. Why? He said that after sleeping on it, he doesn't want to sell anymore. Well that was short lived. <laughs> it's all good. I don't even, I don't even want it anymore, man. <laughs> Four months went by with no contact. Logan could not get this card out of his head. So he called him back up. The mysterious seller gave Logan two options. Six million dollars or... He'd find a PSA 9 and then he would give us a two million dollar credit. Six million dollars or four million dollars and maybe like a one million dollar card. Mm. All we gotta do is find the Pikachu Illustrator PSA 9. <laughs> How hard can it be? Bro. Luckily, option two is right up Logan's alley. He made a couple calls and boom, the 9 was found. So you found it. One million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I don't fly to Italy. You're gonna have to meet me in Italy. Logan immediately flew to Italy and the card was his. Part one was a success. But keep in mind, he still has no idea if this 10 exists. Final stop, Dubai. Time for Logan to make it happen. Now it's my turn, boys. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> As part of the deal, I uh, was able to secure a PSA 9. I also have, this is an IOU, $4 million. <laughs> now, I want to remind you, Logan paid $4 million, 1 1.25 for the PSA 9 card, flew to Italy, and then also flew to Dubai. All for this moment. So was it worth it? Oh, no, you did not. A custom ever case. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my god, bro. What was thought to once only be a myth is now sitting in front of me inside of a custom Maverick case. <laughs> oh, but there's one more thing. Logan's world record. And I can tell you the following. The most expensive Pokemon trading card sold at a private sale is a PSA Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrated card. $5,275,000 on July 22nd, 2021. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. You are a new Blood Guinness World Record. This is the coolest thing ever.